Sergeant Hudson says if you can't make the event and want to donate, there is a benefit fund for Casey Matthews at Amarillo National Bank. The Calf Fry Festival this past weekend was deemed a success by both the Potter County First Responders and Starlight Ranch. So much so, it will become a yearly event. News Channel 10's Devin Darmstetter joins us now. Who knew calf fries were so popular? This past Saturday, first responders and those in Amarillo who support them came out to enjoy live music and over 200 pounds of calf fries. The community Starlight Ranch and Potter County Sheriff and Fire had so much fun, they're already planning to do it again. Things were not looking promising for the first ever calf fry festival with high temperatures and low ticket sales. I tell you what, last Monday with the 100 degree weather every day of the week last week, we were really concerned. But about 3.30 that afternoon, that breeze started blowing and all of a sudden our uh, day of show tickets picked up and we had a huge walk up crowd. So it was, it was a great event. It really worked out great for everybody. <laughs> With over 300 tickets sold and $900 raised for Potter County Sheriff and Fire Rescue Employee Benefit Fund, the festival was deemed successful on all fronts. Raise some funds for our people, but it also include the, the citizens of Amarillo that support us. Calf Fry Festival will now become an annual event in Amarillo. Sheriff Brian Thomas says this will help the Employee Benefit Fund in the long run and with upcoming events planned for first responders. They're in their process of planning a second weekend retreat for the families. Um, the first one went very well and they had some good speakers that went down. They all went down to Cedar Canyon and spent the weekend down there. So they're in the process of planning that. So hopefully that will continue as well. The event is already in the works for next year with Calf Fry Fest becoming a part of the Route 66 Festival. So that means that it'll be a complete day of calf fries with about 19 to 20 different cook teams from all over the area. So it's gonna be fun. You get to sample different calf fries prepared different ways. Lee says the goal is to make it bigger and better come next June. Cook teams will come from all over the Texas Panhandle, eastern New Mexico, and Kansas.